Good morning everyone. It's a Tuesday, May 17th, so time for another update. Um, this week you'll get to see what happens when you're a lazy gardener. And we'll also see what what is working and what is not working in the garden this year. And as you can see here, weeds are starting to take over. Um, I do have plenty of kale coming up in here amongst the weeds which I expected but so many weeds here is where I put in a lot of other herbs and green onions and I don't know what those look like as seedlings so I don't know if anything has come up or not and I would know the green onions but I don't see any so other than the kale this is not looking very good Hopefully I can find the time to come clean it up. Over in the main garden, I have done some tree trimming in the front and just thrown the scraps in the garden here. The squash are not exactly taking off, but they are still alive, so that's a plus. That was a cucumber. Cucumber looks nice and green and healthy, just not getting any bigger. Do need to get some seeds in the garden today. Need to replace this one that died. Got my better looking squash plants. Got some more radishes planted here. Tomato plants are still alive. I've got two of them still, but they, they look pretty bad. I don't know what to do about them. I might not have any tomatoes this year, which would not be a good thing. Got this grass coming in here, starting to take over. I really, really got to get this cleaned up. Pepper plants looking good. Getting some peppers on there might have been beneficial to take those off and let it grow taller but I'm ready for some peppers did plant some stuff in here but nothing's really coming up yet um, got one pepper plant there and another pepper plant here but those were seedlings so any of those would come up I believe that's a cucumber. I didn't mark anything because that's really not what you should do. So, some more radishes. Radishes grow very well, easy crop to grow. Another squash plant, going pretty well. Volunteer something or another. Keep that going. And uh, none of my other seeds have come up. This was supposed to be the bean, and this is a total flop for now. Got grass coming in big time, and I don't know how to get it up without ruining the seedlings. Only a handful of them have come up. There's one there. One there. They're very few. This this should be filled with bean seedlings. Maybe next year I'll start those in another, in a pot and then transplant them. Not sure how well beans transplant, but that shouldn't be too difficult. Got my gherkin here. Kind of happy with that guy. He's, he's actually doing well. So, do have a bunch of volunteer plants. Look like squash or cucumbers. And I'm not sure what they are, but we'll go ahead and find places to put them where... Uh, things have failed like the green beans Thinking of cutting down my neighbor's tree over there Takes away the Sun in the morning could get another hour or two of Sun on the garden without those Here's where clearly a bunch of pepper or seeds had fallen and a bunch of seedlings Peas another failure in the garden the rabbits were eating them big time. So I got these two coming up. That's it. I have them all along the fence, this netting here, and nothing's coming up. I'm sure all these weeds are not helping. 
I guess I need to get out here and clean it up. See, I've done it. Um, as you can see on the other side of the netting, the bell peppers. The bell peppers are looking pretty good. Something that popped up here. I don't know what that is. And get you a closer look at these pepper plants. They're looking really good over here. So not doing nearly as well as I had hoped in here, and it's mostly my fault. Need to get this weeding done, somehow figure out how to keep this grass from coming back, because that's really bad in there. Okay, over here, um, things aren't doing too bad over here. I called this parsley last week, but this is a cilantro, and it's, it's gone to seed. It's no longer usable. Didn't get anything off of it. I think I made one breakfast burrito with some cilantro in it and that was it so I just need to stop trying um, beets are looking good and when they come out these pepper plants should be doing a lot better and take over this spot and then I do have in the back which actually is doing really well over here these Kentucky pool beans they're actually doing very well. And I'll just have them climb up this, this netting here. So. Raspberries look pretty good. Looks like there's some dead canes I need to go in and get out of there. It's spreading a lot more this year. Getting a whole lot of new raspberry growth. Never had this much. Turnips are still doing great. I'm actually going to have some for lunch today. As you can see down there. Right there. They're definitely going to start eating some of these. That's kind of exciting. And I do have some scarlet runner beans coming up. Some back here. Some big leaves on these guys. Tried to break off some of the turn it leaves to give them some sun. I'm not sure if you can see them in there. They've got coming up. No, they'll climb up this arbor, which I need to tie up against the fence because the wind did blow this over and I'd imagine that would just rip up the plants. If it happened once they start growing on it. Some radishes here. They're about done. Not sure I'm going to keep them much longer. I tell you, the weeds are just really bad. We had a lot of rain this week, and they're they're taking off. Got some onions in there, growing, doing pretty well. And I got some really small Thai pepper plants down there. Got one there, and one there. So I need to get these radishes out so they can get some sun. bell pepper plants and my onions that are going to seed some really nice onion seed heads wind's blowing some of them down now kind of happy with my potatoes right now I'm actually getting a bunch and I got six of them at least here that one's doing very well that one's doing very well it's a shame I didn't get more to come up but we'll see what happens maybe maybe they, they'll still come up Here's my radishes going to seed. I do want to save some pods this year. You can't eat the flowers and the pods, but I, I need more seeds, so I'm just going to let these go to seed and hopefully the deer leave them alone. Okay, sorry about the shadows. And here's the carrots. Carrots are looking great. I do need to go in and thin them. If I took this netting down, these would be gone the next morning. Fan favorite of the deers. The deer. And got the lettuce. Probably the best year I've ever had with lettuce. Had a nice salad the other day. Probably had one for lunch today. Alright. There's a whole lot more going on in here. Close up of the green onion heads. I mean, this will make so many seeds. 
I can make you a video later of how the easiest way to save the seeds once they're ready. So it's jarred, looking good. Got one bell pepper plant back there. Or that's not bell pepper, I'm not sure what that is. That's a mystery pepper plant. Okay. Asparagus. Every now and then I get a new one to pop up. Looks like there's one right there. Be able to eat that in a few days. It grows really fast. Oh, there's another one here. Maybe someday I'll actually grow enough to add to a meal. And finally, I did mulch the front yard, including my pepper plant area. I think I have 19 or 20 bell pepper plants. really hoping that these take off this year. Should have a whole bunch. But just like everywhere else, weeds are poking through. So, not sure if this would be a permanent thing. I'm thinking of uh, putting blueberries up here. So anyway, that's, that's where we're at right now. I was really hoping all the weeding I did earlier would have paid off, but so many, so many weeds and grass and everything else coming up. Maybe one more good weeding and these plants will grow big enough to choke out the weeds. I can hope, right? And you can see how the main garden over there is just shaded out by that tree. It's going to make me happy. Still get 10 hours today, but I'm greedy. So, anyway, here's, here's the garden. I've already eaten some stuff. Some asparagus, some radishes, have some turnips today, I've had some lettuce. So, so last thing I'll show you, just give you a quick update on the lemon tree. Because it actually looks like it's starting to come back pretty well. It's starting to get a whole lot of new growth on it. New leaves. So who knows, maybe. Maybe we'll get some lemons this year. We didn't last year, I think, mostly because of the cicadas. But we did the years before that. Alrighty, well, everybody, thanks for watching. And we will give you an update next week. If you get a chance, be sure to like and subscribe and share the video. Um, I do like sharing, but also this will help me in future years to go back and see what went wrong and what went well. Alrighty, thanks a lot.